ברוכים הבאים לגוד בדי טקטיקול. How's my Israeli accent? <laughs> Welcome to Good Buddy Tactical. Yeah, I speak a little bit of Hebrew. Or as my, uh, my Christian friends would say, I, I speak a little broke a toy. The reason why I'm speaking some Hebrew is because we have an IWI Galil Ace rifle chambered in 7.62 by 39. So it's got all that lovely AK spunk, but with all the nice Israeli modifications to it so let's get into this thing I like the box you know it's not very useful but I like the branding and then of course they got to put a nice piece of foam and then look at all that foam okay we got our uh, owner's manual uh, it comes with a P mag but guess what we got here we got one BAM already loaded with some wonderful brass cased AK-47 rounds because though I have Never actually shot this. I've had it for a minute now. I've been wanting to do this video for a while. If I ever did shoot it, I like it too much to put any sort of cheap corrosive AK-47 ammo into it. I probably went overboard with uh, the brass casing, uh, but it's definitely going to keep this uh, rifle um, a lot more in uh, you know non-corroded and in good condition because I'm very I'm very uh, uh, on top of staying on top of uh, keeping my weapons in pristine condition you should too of course it comes with a, uh, a lock here as well um, let's put these away it comes in this nice blue wrapping to make sure that and then there's a, another piece of uh, furniture down here but um, we're not gonna be messing with that this way here. Now let's pull this out. Woo! You see that? One-handed. <laughs> Do we really need the pistol? One-handed. <laughs> um, here it is. Here, let me take off this. It's very, very new. It's just been sitting in the box waiting to get a nice, get a nice video made about it. Um, so here it is. V. IWI Galil Ace 7.62 by 39 rifle with folding buttstock, folding retractable buttstock, folding retractable buttstock. Very, very cool. And this thing is very solid on there. It's, it's, it's fantastic. Um, I can imagine that uh, the, the pistol brace version is uh, similar. Uh, uh, but this one is is just fantastic, and uh, you're gonna have to when you get this going, you're gonna have to kind of push it down and move it over um, to get it back into that configuration. Uh, but for right now, we're going to leave it open. So, what can we tell you about this? Well, for one. Uh, it's chambered in 7.62 by 39, uh, typical uh, AK-47 round. Uh, this is a 16-inch barrel. It's a 1.9 twist. Um, and I just have to say that the finish on it is just really just beautiful matte finish. Just seems such quality. Um, and then I wanted to show you that, you know, this is... There is no, sorry, that was my foot. There is no wiggle to it whatsoever. It is tight on there, like tight to the point that I'm like sitting there being like, oh my goodness, that's gonna be hard to get back on there. <laughs> but uh, that's uh, that seems like it would be uh, not a big a problem. Um, so in, in addition to that, it does have this really great pistol grip on here. And um, it does have a little open slot uh, where you can uh, push, I believe you push this button down here and pop out and you can put some stuff in there. Um, here I got this uh, one mag. Let's uh, break in the Virgin right here. Oh. Oh. Let's go ahead and eject this real quick. 
very, very smooth. Open again, check the action. Nothing inside. Wow, look at that action. And all without having to take my finger off of the gun because the charging handle is on the opposite side. Look at that. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. And in addition to that uh, charging handle, this little uh, plate right here will make it so that it can go up and down uh, at your leisure. One amazing thing about this, and this is what immediately sets it apart from all other AKs, or most other AKs, is this Picatinny rail that is integral to the pieces of the gun. On normal AKs, you might have to get an adjustment plate here and it'll lace itself over the top and you can put something on here. Um, just the, the propensity for there to be more wobble is lessened by by the uh, lack of, of a non-integral um, piece of Picatinny rail. Awesome, awesome. Uh, design feature. It also has these tritium night sights, one in the front, uh, two in the back. Those are great. I like I like tritium. I, I'm, I think that it's a wonderful thing that they put on here right out of the box uh, because, you know, a lot of rifles don't give you something right out of the box and these ones are very, very high quality. It feels like they're made out of steel. Um, they are made out of steel. Like, this thing is just built like a brick house. IWI from Israel and actually Middletown, Pennsylvania is IWI US. These um, removable pieces of furniture. A lot of uh, Jones about how you can just remove that and you just hang on to that. Um, and then you'll have this pick rail, you know, which is also again integral to the, or at least it's it's secured into this, uh, into the actual rifle itself. Um, this pick rail is very good at uh, at its job, you know, it's it's a polymer, but I, I, it's it's very very rigid. Another great thing about it is that if you can see here, it's got this sort of well reservoir uh, for a cable to get through, so that you can mount uh, like pressure pads or something like that, which is just just you know just a wonderful piece of engineering to throw in there with it. You know, that's that's just fantastic. And, and of course, these slide off of all three positions, so giving you pick rail all around here, or you can just leave it on, on uh, leave the uh, furniture on like this and hold it as a handguard. A pretty significant flash hider, very good quality, very durable. Like I said, this thing just, it, it put all of what you needed to have in it in a, <laughs> This thing is light, you know, uh, it, it's just like it's got, I, I, I hold it and it's supposed to be heavy like other AK-47s and it's just, it's much lighter. I mean, this feels like I'm holding an AR, maybe a, a heavy AR, maybe an AR-10 or something, but it is light. It's so, so, so light. These ambidextrous safeties are just wonderful. This, you know, um, mag release, very fluid. And it holds the mags just wonderfully. Chamber one round. Safety's on. There it is. It is uh, live and ready to fire. Mag release. Bam. Eject. Just like it's supposed to. It's. Where'd that go? Oi, vey. Who knows oy vey out there? <laughs> oy vey, if you catch some of this, if you get if you run up against uh, some Israelis, you're gonna be saying oy vey, or maybe just some uh, badass Americans with some galils. You're gonna say oy vey. Um, but yeah, no, this thing is sweet. It is built just tank tough, like a tank. Um, I'm sure it does well in water. I'm sure it does well against dirt. I'm sure it does well against pretty much anything you throw at it. And it looks good doing it. That's what you know. 
about those Israelis. Cool people. If you ever go to Israel, uh, you'll see that they're, they're cool people. I actually did bring this. This is an old newspaper. This is a little bit off topic. Old newspaper from almost a day after where they declared for their state of Israel. Zionists proclaim new state of Israel. Truman recognizes it and hopes for peace. Tel Aviv is bombed. Egypt orders invasion. And over here you have David Ben-Gurion. Uh, if you know any sort of history about Israel, it's the, uh, the War of Independence. They fought about all the surrounding Arab nations. Uh, some are, are, are um, their allies nowadays. Uh, some they still have issues with. But they all came to, to mess with Israel all at once. And with things not like this, this is the updated version of what they had used, but just like this, except maybe heavier. And um, it's how the Middle East was won, if you want to put it like that, uh, with things like this. Um, so I, I just had to have it in my collection. I have a very strong tie uh, to the state of Israel. I, I wish for them to succeed. They're a great partner, technological innovation medical innovation, all sorts of things like that. Uh, I remember hearing about the word viral video in Israel long before I heard it anywhere else. And um, now look what that is. Uh, I will say one more note. Um, they are expensive and you might not be able to find too many of them right now because there's just, especially in a certain caliber, but definitely do try because I think that there's a few coming up here and there, you know, as with most everything. Uh, the reg regular MSRP on it was, I believe, 1899. I don't know, if someone was like, I, I want an AK-47, I'd be like, hey, I'll take a look at this first. <laughs> uh, because it is, in my opinion, that much better than the competition. IWI Galil A 7.62. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. Comment uh, below what you think. Uh, if you would want to get one of these on your holiday list. <laughs> uh, if you want to support directly, you can go to www.goodbuddytactical.com and donate there. For ammo, you can definitely go check out my friends at firebirdammo.com. I know they're running some sales and uh, they got some good stuff in stock all the time. So definitely go check out their website as well. Yeah, 7.62. I wanted the full, you know, benefit of what a 7.62 could, could offer. Uh, I went with the 16 inch barrel. You know, I, I don't look back at it. This is wonderful. I, I think that it's so great. And then, you know, of course, just fold that stock in if you wanted to. Probably a little bit prohibitive on your trigger pull right there. You could take it off altogether if you wanted to, but still, maybe it just turn into a lefty at that point. It'd be just fine. Because I got my ambidextrous trigger control. Yeah, this thing's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Anyway, thanks for tuning in today, guys. I hope you liked this video. Anyway, take it easy. Peace. Shalom.